students myself kamal upnavar and i am going to teach you a new point from chapter number 6 michael is maintain catalysis so see as we have already seen how to apply steady state approximation here the steady state approximation is much important michael is maintain catalysis equation is useful for the study of enzyme analysis so see here e represent the enzyme s represent the substrate the forward rate is k1 reverse rate is k minus 1 and enzyme has a active sites and substrate get joined or the substrate and enzyme contains the sites by which they form a complex or a packedly bound structure this is the e plus s it gives es then from es there is a formation of product and enzyme remains as it is so this is the equation of the enzyme catalysis reaction so see free enzyme combines with substrate with forward rate k1 it forms a complex es this is a enzyme substrate complex again there is a decomposition of this substrate into the products e and s and the rate is k minus 1 now the second equation is es gives product and the rate is k2 and enzyme remains at as it is so we have to find out the rate of equation is equal to k2 into concentration of es so just we will solve the equation and i am going to start now michael is maintain equation here the michael is maintain catalysis same equation is taken here enzyme plus substrate gives complex es and it gives product and enzyme remains as it is now we have to find out the intermediate from this equation so see the es are the reactants p is a product and in between this two there is a step which is called as the intermediate and this is the complex of a enzyme and substrate so es is the intermediate now we have identify our intermediate now we have to find out the rate of change of concentration of the in intermediate with respect to time so d into concentration of es divided by dt d represents the change is equal to initially es is formed from rate uh, k1 and the species from which it it is formed is the e and s so you are straight down k1 into concentration of e into concentration of s this is a formation rate that's why it is positive nextly this e is going to decompose to give again the reactant so the decomposition rate is negative the rate is k minus 1 and into concentration of e s this species is going to decompose so this term is a negative term nextly this e s again going to decompose to form a product that's why minus rate is k2 into concentration of es now we have to apply the steady state approximation according to steady state approximation the rate of change of concentration of intermediate is equal to 0 that's why just write down equation number 1 is equal to 0 now this is our equation number 2 just take this part as it is here k1 into concentration of e into concentration of s minus k minus 1 into concentration of es minus k2 into concentration of es is equal to 0 now just transfer this negative terms to the right side so equation became k1 into concentration of e into concentration of s is equal to k minus 1 into concentration of es plus k2 into concentration of es this is our equation number 3 now the rate of formation of intermediate 
is equal to loss of the concentration of ES means the amount of intermediate is formed is equal to amount of intermediate is decomposed so rate is equal so see initially we have enzyme and enzyme is included in the terms E and ES so the total concentration of enzyme which we have taken which is equal to initial concentration of enzyme and which is represented by concentration of E and this initial is 0 means this is the initial concentration of enzyme and which is included in this enzyme species and in this complex. So just take concentration of E0 is equal to concentration of E plus concentration of ES. Now we have to find out the value of this term. So just transfer this concentration of ES to the left side. So concentration of E is equal to concentration of E0 minus this term minus ES. Now we have to put this equation in equation number 3. So see here is the equation number 3 and this left side term includes the concentration of E. Just put value of concentration of E here. So equation became K1 in bracket concentration of E0 minus concentration of ES. Outside the bracket concentration of S as it is. Is equal to right side will be same this one. Now just multiply this K1 inside the box. So K1 into concentration of E0 into concentration of S. This is first term minus K1 into concentration of ES into concentration of substrate. The, at the right side concentration of ES is the same. So just take this common as a concentration of ES and in a bracket the remaining terms are K minus 1 plus K2. So this is the equation just transfer the term in which concentration of ES is there. So see in this term there is a ES at the right side obviously ES is there. So just transfer this negative term to the right side. K1 into concentration of E0 into substrate concentration is equal to this term as it is K minus 1 plus K2 into concentration of ES plus this term K1 into concentration of ES into concentration of substrate. Now take again this term common and write down the equation K1 into concentration of E0 into concentration of S this left side as it is is equal to K minus 1 plus K2 plus K1 into concentration of S bracket complete and into concentration of ES. Just take this concentration of ES common remaining terms will be K minus 1 plus K2 plus K1 into concentration of S. So this is written here. Then we have to find out the intermediate concentration. Concentration of ES. Concentration of ES is equal to just take this K1 into concentration of E0 into substrate concentration divided by this term. K minus 1 plus K2 plus K1 into concentration of substrate. This is our equation number 5. Now we are going to divide equation number 5 by K1. So just divide a numerator and denominator by K1. So K1 into concentration of E0 into substrate concentration divided by K1. This is our first term and second term divided by K minus 1 plus K2 divided by K1 plus K1 into substrate concentration divided by K1. So just cancel K1, K1. K1 divided by K1 get cancelled. Here also K1 divided by K1. The terms get cancelled. Now just write the equation as concentration of ES is equal to this is concentration of E0 into concentration of S divided by this term is equal to Km. Km means the Michaelis constant. So Km is equal to K minus 1 plus K2 divided by K1. And here only subset concentration is remain. So take 
substitute concentration plus Km. You can write equation as Km plus substitute concentration or substitute plus Km. Now, we have to find out the rate of formation of a product with respect to time. It is equal to K2 into Es. Just see the equation product is formed with rate K2 and from the species which is it is formed is the Es. So, K2 into concentration of Es formation rate is positive. So, now we have the value of concentration of Es which we have calculated here. So, K2 into concentration of E0 into substrate concentration divided by substrate concentration plus Km. So, rate is equal to V0 is equal to dP by dt is equal to K2 into concentration of Es. So, just put rate of formation of product is equal to V0. And when Km is very very less than substrate concentration at that time, the condition is taken the V0 or the rate of formation of, of product is equal to maximum rate and the condition is Km is very very less than concentration of substrate. So, this is the equation for the dp by dt or rate of change of concentration of product and the equation is called as a V0. Then we have the equation V0 is equal to this is equal to just skipped V0. So, V0 is equal to K2 into concentration of E0 into concentration of substrate divided by substrate concentration plus Km. This is our equation number 7. Now, if Vmax is equal to V0 as we have taken this condition Km is less than concentration of substrate. At that time concentration of E0 is equal to concentration of Es. So, the substrate concentration is converted into product and Es and no free enzyme is present. Means initially we have substrate concentration, substrate is converted into Es or the which is converted into a complex form and all the enzymes are attached to the substrate that is why there is no free enzyme is present in the system. So, instead of this E0, E0 is the initial concentration. So, when all enzyme is converted into a complex form or all enzyme and substrate molecules get attached to form a ES. That means initial concentration is not present now, only ES is present. So, just put E0 is equal to ES. So, instead of this E0, we are going to put ES in equation number 7. So, equation became V0 is equal to K2 into concentration of ES into substrate concentration divided by Km plus substrate concentration. So, just we know the equation Vmax is equal to K2 into ES when V0 is equal to Vmax which is equal to K2 into concentration of ES. So, we can write instead of this K2 into concentration of ES V max remaining terms as it is V max into concentration of S divided by Km plus substrate concentration. This is our equation number 8 and equation number 8 is called as michaelis minter equation. Now take a new condition Km is equal to substrate concentration. Km is equal to substrate concentration. At that time, just put instead of Km, we can put the concentration of S. So, V0 is equal to Vmax into concentration of S divided by concentration of S plus concentration of S. So, here the term will be 2 concentration of S. So, N and D contains SS concentration both get cancelled. So, final equation is V0 is equal to Vmax by 2. This is our equation number 9. And from this equation, the plot is observed like this. Vmax is 100% and V0 is a 50%. Now, from equation number 8, 
this is our equation number 8 v0 is equal to v max into concentration of s divided by km plus concentration of s from this equation just this term is equal to this so just take equation as it is here v0 is equal to k2 into concentration of es into concentration of substrate divided by km plus concentration of substrate so just take inverse of the equation number 8 so 1 upon v0 is equal to this term goes to upside km plus concentration of substrate divided by this one k2 into concentration of es plus substrate concentration now just split the equation as km divided by this one and substrate divided by this one so equation is written as 1 upon v0 is equal to km divided by k2 into concentration of e0 into concentration of substrate plus concentration of substrate divided by k2 into concentration of e0 into substrate concentration so in the second term concentration of s and concentration of s both get cancelled now 1 upon v0 is equal to this term as it is km divided by k2 into concentration of e0 into concentration of substrate plus here 1 upon k2 into concentration of e0 now we have to plot a graph so just take equation y is equal to mx plus c this is the equation of a straight line so y is equal to 1 upon v0 x is equal to 1 upon substrate concentration slope is equal to km divided by k2 into concentration of e0 and the intercept is 1 upon k2 into concentration of e0 so this is the equation and from this equation we will plot a graph as 1 upon v0 on the y axis 1 upon substrate concentration on the x axis intercept is positive 1 upon v max here intercept is equal to 1 upon k2 into concentration of e0 and concentration of e0 is equal to es concentration that's why you can write 1 upon v max so just i have written this and slope is km upon v max again same km upon k2 into concentration of e0 and k2 into concentration of e0 is equal to k2 into concentration of es which is equal to v max so slope is equal to km upon v max so such a type of plot is observed in the michaelis menten catalysis so you can go through it and try to solve the equation by yourself